Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. Quarterfinal action, the men's pro doubles for the RT and Fabio Soto, along with Carrie Wright, my co host, <laughs> Carrie Wright, my Carrie. So, listen, quarterfinals, all the matches are too. We'll keep you posted, everybody that are watching online and listening at home or at work, wherever you are. But, uh, Carrie, 39th annual Papa Nichols Coffee Shamrock Shootout. This is, this is great. Uh, this is great, and uh, we are in for a treat. Um, loving the the speed and the dynamic and the youth on this court um, right now and I do uh, I do love the Perea Mania uh, matchup I like I yeah. like them as a team Th they've been very successful I mean uh, not the first tournament that they won you know two weeks ago in Minneapolis they unfortunately won because of an injury of Rodrigo Montoya yeah. but they've had had success before they've won before and I like the aggressiveness I like the cohesion Here's the interesting part. Mania, as a left-hander, is on the right side of the court. <laughs> now, I got to ask you. It took me a second. What oh, happened? did it? What's going on? <laughs> well. Yes, I'm like, wait a minute. That's, that's not his side. Well, there's a reason for it. God knows what it is, but there's a reason uh, yeah, for I it. Yeah, I thought you were going to enlighten us. No. No, I didn't talk to Parrilla or Mania before to talk strategy or just ask them what their, you know, mentality is. But now that I uh, they see them, you know, I am uh, more than intrigued more than intrigued you oh can yes. see right there they were confused well listen but listen went. they look comfortable sure but they both went for the same shot oh my a lot of bumping going on right now oh gosh oh he's okay <laughs> he's okay well and we can talk about those two as well um i've gotten to know cole over the years mm -hmm. met him at junior nationals mm -hmm. in um Des Moines several years ago, and what a fun kid he has been yeah. to watch. N ni nice guy. I oh met yeah. him in Pleasanton. We had a chance to talk, and a nice kid. Very re re nice really kid. Cool. Great family. Yeah, a really cool guy, and uh, his partner, Diego Gastón from Guadalajara, Mexico, he's the IRF 21 and under champion. He won the singles in uh, Tarija, Bolivia, back That's in uh, November. And are, have they t teamed up before? To my knowledge, this is the first okay. time. I thought so too, but like I said, I'm not not exactly sure. Oh, they played in Sioux Falls together. Oh, I was there. Yeah. I guess I. Uh, so this is this is what I'm liking though. The the cohesion that they have will come into play here because um, veterans, of course, playing. And uh, but here's the thing though: the the energy of Sendry and Gastelu is going to be tough to match. They have a lot of energy. Of course, they're young guns. And you're going to see a lot of them diving for some good gets. So we're in for a show. I would definitely agree. Um, and, you know, just over these past three, four years, like I said, when I started watching Cole, just uh, also a steady improvement, which is fun to see. See the young kids come up and continue to improve and get better and better, and he really is. He is certainly improving. Mm-hmm. So 1-1, one, one, game to one. I want to remind you that all the quarterfinals are right now in play in other courts. We'll keep you updated as soon as we can. Wow, good hit ball handling there by Mani, of course. Really good in the front court. I like that. That's the combination, carry that I've liked. Mani in the front court, Pari in the back court. I uh, don't know. It's, it works well. I agree well. to that, too. Yeah, it, for it, sure. It works well. It's just that I'm used to seeing Adam on this side in the front mm -hmm. court but yeah I, I agree that works very well for them um, and I'm one of those two that believes um, the front back is a little bit better positioning in in uh, doubles I, I agree I enjoy that very much and you know the people that say get up there and play side to side I don't I no. my mixed doubles partner and I play that way where he's mostly up front and I cover the passes on either side of him and I get what's in the back and just works better. It's better on the move for me. Are we holding? Yeah. Yeah, it's a safe yeah, hinder. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's safe to hinder. Well, there's a few words happening down there. Well, they're, you know, nothing rude. Yeah. They're just, you know, the, the what happened, just so you know, is that Parrilla gave a warning to Gastelum. Get oh, and now the smiles are coming. Yeah, out. he's like, yeah. get, "Get out of my way, and okay. don't and don't push me if I'm beside you." 
And that actually, well, I should double check. In a USAR rules, that's not allowed. You cannot push somebody out of the way. Is that yeah. true here too in IRF? Um, God, it's such a gray area. Yeah. I mean, I've never been the one push to say. Push-off or shove-off, I think, is how it says in USAR. I have so. never been one to say that racquetball is not a contact sport, because <laughs> yeah. it is. Well, that was a nice but, shot by Cole. But here's the thing, though. Right. Remember, in Mexico, we're soccer players, so we're used to pushing and shoving and hitting while the referee's not watching. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's not nice, though. I never said it was. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Oh, it ca came off the door funny, he said. Um, okay. It is my understanding I that they... Oh, we're going to find out right now. Yeah, they agreed to there was no court hinders. That's what they agreed to. Okay, yeah, well, uh, you know. Yeah, so that's a point. Adams, but yeah. So that's, that's a point. And, no, and yeah, they discussed that in the coin flip. They said no hinders. Well, and I thought at first Adam held up because he thought he was going to hit Cole, but then the ball shot this mm -hmm. way, and that's a strong shot. Wow. Strong shot from the youngster. I love uh, Cole's determination on that. And that's what he needs to do and his partner as well. No hesitation, just pure determination. They're facing two really good racquetball players, really so good, they, yeah. they have to push the envelope here. But a good serve by Cole. A little too much. Yep, a little too much for Andre to good heat to handle. You know, they remind me a little bit of uh, in the past a couple Mexican national tournaments. I think the last two or three, uh, Eric Trujillo has played with Sebastian Hernandez, young team, and they got in third twice. That's a skip. Sandri and uh, Gastelum are up by four, six serving two. So that makes you wonder then if Adam and Andre will stay in this formation and kind of see it through or? Well, a little too soon to tell. I mean, they have time. They have time. So say the score again. I can't see it from where it's So right five. now, no, it's uh, right now two to six. Two six, okay. Yeah. Go. That's his bread and butter yeah. money shot. Good, good job calling it off and knowing exactly what he was going to do with it and executed it well. Wow, Tough. what a great shot. Beautiful shot. So fun little fact here, Carrie. You know I like those. All right, so quarterfinals start at 5, right? Okay. The last quarterfinal match... <laughs> at 8 p.m. is going to be between Andre Parria and Adam Anillo. Oh, lovely. That happened in uh, yeah. Minnesota, oh too. Oh, yeah. So they'll face each that other uh, tonight in the quarterfinals. And if, if my memory serves me, I think it's Adam's turn to win. I, I think. Should be. Because they do kind of go back and forth. They kind of do go back and forth. Last one, so I think it's Adam's turn to so win. So they'll face each other at 8 p.m., ladies and gentlemen. You want to be here for that. And also want to remind everybody that quarterfinals start at five. Kane Wazalencha versus Jonathan Flores, the black, the dark horse. Should we the talk uh, about that for one hot second? Yeah. So I went over and, you know, I didn't get to see the game with Jake. Tell me if something good happens here. So I didn't get to see the game uh, with him against Jake at this tournament. But I saw the scores. Mm -hmm. And um, then he was playing here against Robbie. And after I got done here, went over there. Uh, I, 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 I still am. It's almost like I can't believe what I saw. I, I, I am wondering, I want to see the next match because I yeah. watched one game and it's just like I can't mm -hmm. know, know if I believe what I saw. The kid is strong. Yeah. He's smart. He executes very well. He makes it look effortless. Um, so, I, you know, I think if you haven't watched him, tune into that one this afternoon. Hopefully I'll be back and can uh, talk a little bit more yeah. about it online when he plays Kane this later today. Got us a rally. Wow, Adam, what a great way to end that rally. Yeah, again, that's his wheelhouse. And he's just very, very good at it. So right now, seven serving four. 
Young Guns are still up top here by three. Place is starting to, it is still a, a early Friday afternoon, but we still got still early, a yeah. A lot of people, you know, filling in here. Some in the sponsor seats, some in the spectator seats. Wow. It's a good pickup by Cole off that it wall. It is a good one. Yeah, Adam had a great shot. And again, with that, we talked a little bit about it earlier. There's like a six inch gap between the side glass wall and the brick wall that you see. Throw you off a little bit when you're trying to. Oh, good pick pickup, yeah. Pick that one up. Yeah, Cole's in the way. I'm not uh, sure that that's no. a penalty. No, I don't think so. That. that you should. don't think it's a penalty? No. I'm not sure either. That's why I was. Yeah. So, eight serving tough four. Call. Tough call. Eight serving four. Who is our ref? I don't know that I can. Jordi see. Alonso. I didn't know. That. See him from here. That should be a penalty, Henry. Yeah. That should that be a penalty. Yeah, that I agree yep. with. Yep, those are a little more cut and dried. Yeah, it's uh, interesting how they're just flying, the young kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adam is going to the left now. All right, there we go. I think uh, all things are correcting himself in the universe. That's funny. I guess that's Adam had a good uh, singles match earlier today at 11. Oh, um, yeah. Played John Goth from mm -hmm. Minnesota. John, uh, you know, he doesn't go away easily. And the first game, uh, I think he had maybe seven points. And the reason I bring that up is, you know, these two switching makes me wonder if, if Adam's going to hit another gear. Oh. Um, and uh, that's what happened in that second game against John. Mm -hmm. Adam just kind of found that gear and was like, all right, here, here we go. And John, I think, scored two the second yeah, game. When, when fun to watch him out there for sure. When Adam definitely gets comfortable, he's dangerous. And part of that, too, is because he's smart. Mm. He's so smart. My husband likes to say he's the smartest guy on tour. Calculated. Big boast there. Wow. What a what a treat. Mm. Oh, it's a great pass by the young Cole Sendry. Nicely done there. Great rally. Well, though. you know what? It, not the fact that just he's just smart, but he's also he's very technical. He's very textbook. He's very technical. You know, if you want to watch technique, if you want to watch For sure. textbook racquetball. You know, you got to see Adam and Nia's, uh game, definitely. Very clean. I like it. Yep, you, you yeah. hit the nail on the head there. That is definitely true. Here's the other reason why he's one of the dangerous players here. He's playing with Andre Parrilla, <laughs> who also, I think, is, like, top five of a uh, racquetball IQ. He's just a very smart player himself. He, all those great wins that he's pulled out have been because he's – He's incredibly witty and uh, talented. So, you know, we've seen that throughout the years from Parrilla. Oh, that's the backswing. You, you better not get that because that would be the no. same thing Adam was looking for. Oh, but now Andre wants. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, and so I'll just back you up there a little bit. Um, I'm sorry. Diego, uh, tell me his name again. Yeah, uh, Diego. Yeah, Diego. That's what I thought. He, uh, his back swing was impeded, and he wanted a hinder call and held yeah. his hand up but didn't get it. And it's like, well, we can't. 
do that because that's exactly what Adam right. was looking so for earlier. Timeout is called by Parrilla and Mania. Players will take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We, of course, want to thank our gold sponsor, uh, Papa Nicholas Coffee. Jim Schlicker, a longtime racquetball enthusiast from Batavia, Illinois, is the chief operating officer of Papa Nicholas Coffee and a longtime sponsor for both the LPRT and IRT in the Chicagoland area. For those of you who haven't tried one of the more than 50 blends of Papa Nicholas Coffee, we encourage you to do so. Our competitors are enjoying Papa Nicholas Coffee all weekend at the coffee bar in the glass court. And it's fully stocked from early morning until late at night. Jim and Papa Nicholas want everybody to ask for Papa Nicholas coffee at their local groceries in Jewel Osco or go online to order directly at papanicholas.com. Have it shipped directly to your home at Papa Nicholas Coffee is roasted in their plant in Batavia, Illinois, and is guaranteed to be the, the freshest available. So thanks to them, uh, Carrie, because, uh, you know, they also sponsored Minnesota a couple weeks yep, ago. Yep. So hats appreciate off to them. them. Yeah, appreciate them very, very much. Mm -hmm. My husband loves the coffee. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I got some for Greg well, the first time they started sponsoring this a couple years ago. I ordered some, and he likes it. Sandry to the serve. That leg's getting beat up over there. Yeah, it's getting beat up. This <laughs> is, I think, the third, third time yep, third, third time, time that he's been hit, but he should be used to it by now. <laughs> Second serve for Sandry. I love Nick. Interesting. <laughs> Good. Tough. Adam just called off Tough. Parilla. That's the communication skill that both of them had. He called him off, and, you know, even though that Parilla was not in a bad position, Adam just went ahead and killed him. Yes. They uh, just wanted to point out to the ref, you know, either, s either player can serve first when they head into the service box each time. It doesn't have to be the same. Uh, rotation each time so they just make sure to point out to the ref that hey I'm serving first just so there's no confusion there you go ladies and gentlemen wow both Cole and Diego diving for that one I think that communication is a skill that they have to develop yes because they've go they've gone more than once for the same shot so they either need to be better communication or trust each other a lot more Parilla with the serve 5-10 Ceiling ball action. We'll see who takes it down first. Yeah, it ended up working out for him, but. Uh. Them, fired up, and, you know, and, and I gotta tell you, Carrie. I mean, they they've been game, giving them layups. Yeah. That rally just gave him some layups, and I mean, it is a chance to miss, but it's also a chance to reach glory right there, as Gastelum did. The serve from Diego. <laughs> Screen serve. That hit Diego. Th that is a weird thing. <laughs> you just don't see that very often well, at this level, do you? Well, listen, <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever take your eyes off the racquetball, ever. Oh, don't turn your back scary. on it. Yeah. Sendry. Great shot. Yeah, falling backwards, uh, kind like of on it. his back foot. Yeah, good shot. V and that's shooting with confidence. So 11 serving five now. Oh, 
again. I, I love that Adam went for it, though. And, I love that. And Cole shooting with confidence again. Yeah. Feeling like I've been here, I belong here, I'm shooting this ball, and that's that's nice stuff. He does not look like a stranger in any way, shape, or form. I wanted to call that before he hit it, but <laughs> I was a little nervous. I was going to say, you know, that's the Adam Mania corner, the Adam Mania shot. I shouldn't be nervous, right? Yeah. That should be a replay. a replay. Okay. Yeah, I think right. that's fair. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll say that. I too. think that's fair. Parilla. The young guns are shooting. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, that time it didn't work out. Last yeah, two ceiling ball rallies, uh, I think yeah. Cole came out the winner there, but let's see what happens here. The Adam Mania shot. Parilla and Mania are five points we talked from about young guns. Sorry, we talked about confidence with uh, mm -hmm. Cole shooting. Obviously, Adam's got that same. And to be able to let that ball go for his partner. Parilla Mania, eight serving 12. Adam gets another try at it. Shoot. Oh, no, at back up top. Smart shot by Perea. Great get by Diego. Oh, that should be a penalty. It should be. That should be a penalty. And it there. is. Yeah. Nine serving 12. Yep. And again, those of you probably watching uh, know that and understand that. But when you're taking away that shot that's straight into the front wall, that, you know, again, if Cole wanted to try and avoid that, he's got to get the ball way away from him off to this left side. So timeout call by Sandri and Gastel. And players will take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our host, of course, is the Glass Court Swim and Fitness Club. Owner Joe DiArmas and Glass Court President Dan Jasker have ensured that Glass Court Swim and Fitness is the premier location for racquetball in Illinois and the Midwest. The club, with eight courts, including the internationally known Glass Court Stadium, has hosted professional events for over 35 years. In addition to racquetball, the Glass Court Swim and Fitness Club has both indoor and outdoor pool, indoor gymnasium, and a wide range of cardiovascular and weight training equipment. Back to the action. What about Tough. that serve? Yeah, again, at this level, you don't see a ace uh, lob serve very often. No, you do not. That's tough. That's tough. Wow. You know, I was going to say smart shot by Adam, and there Cole came back again with that confidence. Listen, that is not the first time he's done it throughout this match. He's right. been doing that a lot now, so it's something right. to look out for. It was a... I thought Adam had the right choice. Contact, physical contact, so a replay is called. Yeah, and that was on. Uh, Listen, Carrie, this is one of the most physical matches and doubles I've seen in a while, i got to tell you. Yep, agreed. I'm sure the those watching are seeing it too. It's Whoever said that racquetball isn't a contact sport, you know? That wasn't me. Not me either. <laughs> but as it stands, you know, damage has been done. So right now, 12 serving 10. Oh, it's a long game yet. Oh, <laughs> this, is, this is far from over. We're correct. 
But boy, they got to be getting tired out there too. <sighs> Those twenty-one-year-olds? I don't think so. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Let's see, Cole is sixteen, maybe just turned seventeen. Adam will be thirty. Andre. Twenty-eight. Okay. And Diego. Twenty-one. 21. That's a tough one there I'm from Mania. I'm not sure who said that. Did you hear somebody say, uh-oh? <laughs> I wasn't sure where that came yeah, from. <laughs> that's a tough that shot. That was tough. Very tough. Sandri Gastelum, 13 now to 10. They're uh, making Perria Mania sweat. So no more timeouts left, Carrie. We are here for the duration. Thanks, Iceman. Uh, Cole, is Cole is 18 years old. Tough, tough, tough. That's all you can say about that shot. They need to get a sight out here, though. See what Cole does, comes back here with that drive serve that hits his partner again. So big shout out to Richard Iceman. Uh, yeah. He was uh, in the broadcast booth with us in Pleasanton. Yeah. Very, very yeah. much working with us. So Richard, say hello. And uh, I can't remember when I met him first, but we did some broadcasting in Tempe together. Uh, you know what? It was Pleasanton. Yeah. It yeah, was. he was it was fun. It was uh, fun to spar with. Who's gonna fire first? Did he slip there? I believe so. Wow, Mania. Yeah, now they need to uh, turn that into some points here to yep. to stay in this game. There it is again. Well, 11-13. If you're going to give him that shot, yeah. he's going to take it every 11 time. 11-13. Oh. Wow, again. That's and he changed his mind, I wonder. I think the last moment, right? Yeah, right. Wow. So I'm not sure if he just thought, oh, I better do that's this the instead. That's the pressure that a player such as Andre Pare can put on you, even on the lob serve. Oh. Is he saying? I don't I'm not know. Not sure what he was saying. I, I unless he was calling two on himself. I don't know what he's saying. Because uh, here's what I saw. I saw a very good shot. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure that he got it. So he mentioned to the referee that when he attempts to pass him, he gets his put his body in the way. He's not allowing him to do so. Oh. That's what he's saying to the referee. But as it stands, tw 13 serving 13. Yeah, there is some discussion, and, and unless he's going to switch something, he scored a point. The ball was past Diego. He dove to the back wall. Yeah, they scored a point there, so right now we're 13, serving 13. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, a little confusion. I He was thinking he couldn't get the shot through, but uh, to me it actually almost looked like it was a – Double bounce too, so not sure. Well, listen, the fact is, Carrie, we're at 13 13, and uh, Parrilla Mania just went to fifth gear. Yeah. There we go, Parrilla. Always want to kill those shots. Very, very aggressive. And I like how precise Parrilla is with those shots. Game point number one coming up, 14 serving 13. Mm. Oh, there you have it. That's a skip from Cole, That's yeah. That's a mistake right there, and it costed him. Game number one, 15 13. Players will take a two minute break. We will as well, and we'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from MyPillow. Towels that actually work. 
Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels, made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here from the 39th Annual Papa King's Coffee Shamrock Shootout. The IRT wants to invite you to join us in Costa Rica. We're going in there in June, the Costa Rican Open, the home country of Andres Acuna. That's always an entertaining and lovely place to visit. Also want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Robert Dreger. is a regular tournament player in the Chicago area and has extended his support to the IRT and Shamrock Shootout in a significant way. As a busy lawyer, his firm, Dreger Law, has been a vigilant bodyguard for its clients throughout Chicago and Northern Illinois for over 30 years, providing strategic legal advice and counsel. When he is not competing this weekend, and he did play the program on Thursday night, by the way, you will find him learning from the pros during their matches. So, of course, Dreger Law, obviously want to thank him. And, uh, Carrie, you know, what's what's your call on this? I mean, most of the match, Gastel and Sendry were up. And it looks like at the very end, uh, Mania Paris just shifted into fifth gear. Yeah, and it, we said it started out a little odd to us mm -hmm. that um, Andre and uh, Adam switched sides. Not, I can't wait to ask him what that was about. Um, but those kids, yeah, they came in hot. They came in mm -hmm. fast and uh, took a substantial lead, I would say. And uh, then, yeah, Andre and Adam switched to their more regular mm -hmm. sides and uh it might again just be what you had said just the um uh fundamental yeah. and the critique and the smart and you put that all together at the right time and they were able to come back from a decent deficit and end up with a 15 13 is that what we ended on 15 13 yeah. and right now we're about to start game number two want to thank everybody of course uh carrie Rowan, everybody as well that uh, quarterfinals and men's singles start at 5 p.m mm-hmm Yes, 5 p.m. tonight. We've got back-to-back-to-back, uh, to back to back, so we'll be broadcasting three in a row, I think it is, right? Three, four. Well, there's obviously four, so uh, four in a row. And, and here we go, game two. Fantastic Friday. Andre's sticking, swing. and he's staying. He's staying with that lob serve that at the end of the last game really turned out well for them to get a few points on. So, yeah. That's a good reset there by... Uh, Castello. Yeah. And I know it's going to get physical. It you, is. Know, you know what? Regardless of the fact, I just want Mania to play through. Right, right, right. There was some physical contact, but you know what? He had enough time. It probably gets annoying, and he's probably mm -hmm. feeling like, okay, if I don't stop this, it's going to keep happening. That's a point for uh, yeah. Sandri and Castello. Cole from Texas. That's a skip by Gastelum. Of course, Gastelum, uh, native of Guadalajara. Tough. Yeah, real tough. That's a great shot by Cole. Yep. Nice shot. Gives them a point. Nice pick up by Andre. Diego goes right back to him. That's a funny bounce. Oh, good hands there. Cole tracked that ball so many times so well. That was a skip. Nice. I have to agree with I, well the referee. And I have, the, do you see yeah. this bar right here? Yeah. So I, I couldn't tell, but 
Cole did some really nice tracking, though, in that rally, over and over, and backing up his partner. And that'll come. You know, you talked about communication and, and just seeing them learn from even just the last game. Um, you know, Cole letting him take his shots and then going to fill that spot that's open and uh, tracking the ball well. Oh wow. my gosh, did you see where I was looking? Wow. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Let's take a replay right here. <laughs> Let's take a look at the screen. I'm embarrassed. I was totally looking up. Ball control. Get parrilla. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's he does. Great. Listen, he does that off not often, but when he does. Oh, oh there's that boast shot again. Oh, Parrilla missed that one right and there. Adam thinks uh, Diego's skipped early or two. I, I'm not sure what they're signaling to, but no call. So I don't believe that's going to. So Diego is asking if he can get, retrieve his knee pad. That's interesting. Oh, he's a diver. But I understand, but why wouldn't it be, it's not a e injury timeout or no, an equipment not. timeout, so why would he not have to be charged a timeout for that? Gosh, and Cole. again, d real good, real great shots and, yeah. and tracking the ball, shooting the ball, and just didn't execute that last one there, but moving well. Mania coming up with the goods here. Now they're on top, three to two. Game number two. Parilla, that's the second time that Parilla's missed that one. Yep, Adam had his shot. Cole was there waiting for it, and Pri had the opportunity yep. to get there, but just, again, wasn't able to execute that one either. Two serves, three. Wow. Great <laughs> shot. Just. Uh, that's not even half speed. I that's know, right? Like, like, it's like one fifth speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that boast again. He's hit that several times. Another reset with the ceiling ball. That should be a setup. Nice between the leg get by Cole. Boy, long rally, and it's full of everything. Ceilings, passes, pinches between the legs. On a boast, that's got everything. Now we got a reset. Cole has not been afraid to shoot those as of late, but he didn't choose to do that one. But he's more cautious. Now listen, that rally had everything on it, it but the kitchen sink. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. Not sure. Can, how much can they hear? How much can you guys hear on those mics that are in the court? Well this we have is a couple fun. mics. So just a quick update, everybody. Uh, Eric Trujillo and Rodrigo Montoya they defeated uh, Jonathan Flores and Hector Barrios in two. In two. 15-3, 15-10. Well, we are in the second game here. Oh, that's a great pickup.
another reset. A good reset. Let's see what happens. Who gets to take the shot first? Oh, no. Although Andre thought he might. Wow. Uh, on the backhand. Adam. Great shot, Adam Mania. Great way to wow. end that rally. Yeah, that was Another nice. good rally so far. Barria Mania, they're still up three to two. I didn't see you. I've been here all day. Wow, what a way to hunt that one. Funny, and he, yeah, he uh, let's take, played that very well. So Watching let's, uh, it again. Look at the replay. How? Look at Andre Parilla. Look at his footwork. Look where he's going. He's hunting for it. It changed direction, and boom, backhanded. <laughs> Fun. I got to oh. tell you, not, not many players have the ball tracking skills like Parilla. Wow, and great little crack out shot yeah. by Cole there. Yeah, that even with even with Diego there, that shot is just really hard um, to retrieve. Uh, Adam, you know, gets set up for that, gets the, gets that corner that he wants, and and like I said, Diego was there, but he still had a hard time uh, or was unable to retrieve it. So we're gonna have to wipe up the floor here a little bit. So give the players a break too. What's the score? Well, five serving two is the score right now. Cole is asking for the score, so we mm -hmm. gave that to him there. Well, of course, this is Safety Time Out, brought to us by Zurich Construction, constructing athletes and building people, always concerned with the safety of our players. And we're checking with the ref, and we're checking with the ref time back in here at five serves two. Oh. Yeah, he hit himself on the foot. Yeah. In the foot. Yes. Yeah, a little frustration He's not, there. Yeah, not happy with himself. A little frustration from Diego. Well, and now he let that go there to the go. next rally and the next shot, and and uh, hopefully that's the end of it, that he doesn't let it take him another point away. Just what a pace on that yeah. ball. Pace. Time yeah. out requested by Sandrine Gastel and players to take a one minute break, and we will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're especially grateful to the ISRA and MMRA Hall of Fame member, Colonel John O'Donnell Jr. has been a teacher of racquetball at the University of Illinois for years and continues to play out of the university in his retirement. He once estimated that he had uh, introduced over a thousand players to the game through his classes and clinics. He and his wife, Kay, will not be able to attend this weekend, but he assures me that he is training for upcoming events and is ready to take on all newcomers and John and Kay O'Donnell you know, one of the you know biggest sponsors of this event Carrie always grateful for them to helping support eight serving two good pickup by Cole there what a great pass by Manilla I love that I've seen that twice in a row once from uh Andre and once from Adam, kind of that off speed, mm -hmm. down the line pass. Hard for Cole, even quick yeah. Cole to catch up to.
Oh, folks, there you have it. What <laughs> I'm a not shot. sure Adam believed it either. Oh, it took him a second. What a shot. He, he needed to process it, <laughs> right? We all did. Manilla he, again, he's just teeing up for Parrilla. Parrilla. Yeah, Parrilla. right. He's teeing him up, and it's just so awesome. Look at this shot from Parrilla Do again. I have to look at it again. We saw this one in game one, and check this out. Parrilla again, he knows his stuff. Check this out. Kind of slices it. <laughs> Boom. Here's the thing, though, Kerry. If you're looking at Parrilla's uh, uh, footwork, and his inclination in his body, you would think he was going to go for a ceiling shot on a shot 100%. like that. 100%. You would think 100%, and then boom, slices into the corner. Yep, facing forward. Even his uh, s s preparation on his racket is, you know, like he's uh, setting up for a ceiling ball, and then he hits that. That's a safe to hinder. I agree with that one. Yeah. But look at the difference right now, Carrie, between game one and two. They're up 11-2. So all things are right in the universe now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Castellum. And and again, the oh. more the more they play on this big stage, the more mm -hmm. you know, the more experience they have, the less those shots will happen. But it sure is fun to watch them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I said him again. Skip, yeah. Just missing. Just missing. Cole giving him a little pep talk there. 13 serving two. Mania just finding that that spot right there to achieve match point. Good for Shot. Cole. Cole Sendry. Not afraid to shoot the ball yeah. when he was given the opportunity. I like that. Not I, afraid. I do. I like that a lot, and that's that's awesome. Diego with a little pushback of his of his own there. A little bit right there. Point again for Gastelum and Sendry. Great rally going on here, folks. And it ends with a point for the youngsters. Yeah, that was uh, real nice. A lot of yeah. movement, a lot of uh, teammate coverage. Great smart, effort there, smart and strong. Great effort there. Yep. Also, we're pleased to be working with the DuPage Sports Commission to ensure that the tournament is publicized in local community and that we have a great hotel and dining options available for our competitors and their guests. Make sure to check them out through Sports Page, DuPage Sports Commission. Also want to thank Cheryl Kirk and Kit Lawson, dovetailed by Design Mike Kinkin, Title Medical Services, George Pappas, for supporting this event. Also, uh, racquetball sponsors that we always enjoy having their support, Headpin Racket Sports, Gearbox, Pro Canex, and also appreciate our local players and glass court members who stepped up to support the IRT Illinois Racquetball and Glass Court Taco Burrito King, Danny Ortega. Mm -hmm. Taco night tonight, Gary. All right, all right. Get ready for that one. Response Graphics and Embroidery, Lynn and Kevin Yazel, AHI Contractors, Carlos Tegel, Fellows Roofing, Willie Fellows, Little Debbie, Janet, and Joe Eminger. Waiting for those ones. Also want to thank Zurich Construction, Francisco Fajardo, Jose Arteaga, Alok Mera. Ray Meisner and John Thorson. Such great support for this event, Carrie. Very emblematic. Takes a village. Oh, oh Gastelum. That's a, that's a big mistake. Yeah. Yeah. 
Unfortunately. And here's the thing, though. He made the mistake, not just the execution of the shot. He failed to see where Adam Mania was. Mm -hmm. Had he gone with that shot, Mania was like a two feet away. All over it, mm -hmm. as they say. So, uh, possible match point being served right here to Cole. And, and there you have it, it, ladies and gentlemen. Mistake there by Gastelum. Parilla Mania take this one in two. 15, 13, 15, 5. Kerry, I got to ask you, you know, way different game two than one. What are your thoughts on that change that was made? Uh, it's It speaks for itself, I think. Um, you know, that's where they both feel comfortable. Again, I, I'll be curious. I'm sure I'll bump into one of them and just ask, what, what's, I, I want to learn. What was the reasoning for that? But, uh, yeah, it. Uh, it's obviously when when they're together uh, on their comfortable sides shooting the balls that they want to shoot the score is going to be 15 5. Well, ladies and gentlemen we invite you to click on that qr code check it out scan it on your phone help team usa represent in guatemala city players they have only just a, a, a few days of rest after this match to go to no, guatemala I so know. make sure to support team usa as they represent in the irf par american cup and also want to thank our uh, production crew of course, I uh, want to thank uh, uh, Rafael Gatica, our producer, Carlos Ramirez, our helper, and uh, Pablo Fraga, commissioner, Kerry Wright, Myron Fabio Soto. Kerry, we'll be back at 5 p.m. Kane Wazalenchik oh, and wait. Jonathan Flores, everybody. Quarterfinal action starts tonight on Fantastic Friday. Tell well, your friends, tune in. That, that will be a fun, if for no other reason, just to watch this very young, yeah. c pretty much, I'm, I'm going to go out there and say unknown. Watch him come up see how he plays. Um, it's going to be an exciting match, so yeah. come back and watch. For the ITM, Fabio Soto, K. Reitmeyer, we'll be back at 5 p.m. on IRT Live. <laughs>